Good morning, everybody. Today is our last day here, last full day, July 20th, day five. Just gonna get some coffee, and then uh, I think we're just gonna go to the quiet pool again. It's cooler there, the water temperature, and uh, the food's better for lunch, so we're gonna do that. Snacks too. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm heading to the gym right now. Brittany has to deal with a client issue and help them out with their flights. You know, unfortunately, she can't make it to the gym now either, but uh, you'll see her soon. So, we just ordered a little healthy breakfast at the Elba. Uh, then we'll have lunch, you know, in a couple hours. You know, figured might as well, when you're here, might as well order. So, I got some oatmeal and some yogurt to bring up to the room. Good morning everyone. Day five, this is our last full day. I'm sad to be saying that. We're like just having such a great time. Um, we should be on the bike tour right now. Unfortunately, I had a bit of a client uh, travel emergency, you know, flight delays, cancellations, things like that. And that's just a part of my job. That's just what happens. So I could be away and I could set an out of office for, you know, new, things however my clients that are traveling i still have to you know deal with whatever comes up and help them out so unfortunately we did not get to do the bike tour i did cancel that with about 45 minutes notice so i hope that somebody else was able to take our spot they usually have a small waiting list or they tell people to just walk up um, to see if someone doesn't show so hopefully someone was able to grab and enjoy that activity i do plan to hopefully do the ceviche class today at 2.30. So we're gonna go set up down at the quiet pool today. Kevin's actually already there. And just soak up the sun and enjoy our last full day here. The hallways are just so pretty here. And if you're in building two and you wanna do the cut over to the quiet pool or just go over to building three, you're gonna be down on the main level where the gym is and this nice water feature. And then you're gonna cut outside. And then you get to a nice little path. And I'm very proud of myself that I didn't get lost today. There's nice music playing. different than what they made yesterday for people. I don't know. I got the correct mango mosa. Before it was just mango juice and champagne and now I got the proper mango puree with champagne. It's good. I am just starving for lunch. We're gonna go over to the buffet over in building three where we ate for breakfast the other day. I have heard it's open for lunch. However, on the app, it doesn't show it's open for lunch, so I don't know what time it opens. For dinner tonight, we're going to the steakhouse, which I'm so excited for because they have this huge salad bar, which I feel like if I'm remembering it correctly, you can't even call it a salad bar. It's more like a huge grazing table with like so much. So I hope it's as good as I remember. And I hope that delicious blue cheese is there. All right, it's finally time for lunch. I'm starving. I hear the pasta is so good here. And that sounds just incredible. I was able to meet another viewer today, Galinda from California. And I apologize if I'm getting the name wrong, but I've had 
quite a few mango mimosas and not much food. So I'm usually very good with names. So hopefully I got that right and I remembered it correctly. All right, my lunch looks incredible. I did a make your own pasta, and I did Alfredo and pesto mixed, and then added in some veggies. And then a little prime rib, potato, zucchini, mussels. Got some grilled chicken breast, potatoes, rice, fried plantains, and then my pasta, cheese sauce. Got Kevin and I a little dessert to share. I do not know what this is. It feels hard, almost like ice cream, kind of. This was chocolate mousse. This was a pineapple cake, and I do not know what this is, but it looks like it has kind of like a little chocolate filling. So we're gonna give this a whirl. Okay, after the first bite, this is very light. This is like a brownie type cake thing. It's a very good, I don't even really, really like chocolate. The pineapple cake is like exactly what you think it would taste like with chunks of pineapple. And the cookie is shortbread with like, almost like pudding in it. It's very good. The pasta was incredible. Like really like, little like rival some of like the best pasta I've ever had. So it was just like the Alfredo mixed with pesto and then I did fresh tomato and broccoli. And it was like, it was really good. You wanna talk about your lunch? Had the pasta too, it was excellent. I had um, like the same thing as bread, but uh, what do you call those pastas? Like a cavatelli, I think it was. <laughs> kind of like an elbow macaroni, and I had um, uh, chicken breast, good, because we're gonna have steak tonight, so I don't want any steak or meat like that. So it was good, I recommend it. to ceviche class now. That's another totally free activity, 2 p.m. at Mercado 19. And I assume it's going to be less busy than the sushi in my brain. I just feel like the sushi is probably like the number one activity, but I guess we'll see how many people show up. para Karen y Alejandra. They're gonna help us. I am not professional, I'm just gonna try to translate what they say, but they are the professional. And of course, we're gonna have our senior Pablo, the senior Pablo. Just gonna hang out by the pool, the quiet pool, while Brittany's doing her ceviche class. And then next up for me, I'm gonna do the pool volleyball at the, uh, the other, the main pool later at three o'clock.
time to play another round of uh, pool volleyball. It's our last day, so we gotta get it in. I'm not sure where Brittany is. Oh, here, here she is, actually. She's down the, <laughs> down the way over here. The class was so good. I love all the workers. I loved that they first made you go to the restroom and have everyone wash their hands. This was not my first time doing a ceviche making class at the resort, but it was at a resort, but it was the best. The last one, we kind of just like threw stuff in a bowl and ate. They like really went into the history and it was really great and it was delicious. And they let you take some to go. And I thought it was really great. Again, I think it's a must do. I think probably the sushi, I would say is like more of a must do if you were only picking one just because it's a little bit more unique but such a fun activity and it was like 20 minutes like start to finish today the class had 10 people in it it was a lot of we fun we just won the first game 21 17. hopefully you don't play about five games like last time <laughs> We didn't win that second game, but I don't know. There's a little confusion in the score. 21-20, 20-20. So, and here's Brittany. What do you got? What are you drinking over there? I have a Don Julio and Fred Cup. Paloma. Don Julio, of course. Yeah, there's a DJ now. I don't know if Brittany showed before. Or last night we're going to la cantina first have a couple marks snacks dinner is at the steakhouse um i mentioned earlier i'm like so excited for that i just want to get like all the blue cheese i already know it's going to be phenomenal um i think we're going to try to do the sky bar like later on tonight when it's like nice and like nice and dark and have like a nice like kind of i guess not twilighty but just we'll have the lights lit up and we gotta finish packing. That's always like the worst part. Like we're kind of doing like the worst things today. Like we're sad to go, we gotta pack. I need to check in for the flight. Actually, you know, I need to go do that right now. Dinner tonight was at the steakhouse and after getting all the delicious food from the salad bar, we got all of the appetizers. A super delicious cheese soup that you need, oysters Rockefeller, bread which we didn't need because we had so much from the salad bar, empanadas that are a must get, and onion soup. And the kitchen here is not open air, but it's glass so you can see in and see how the cooking is going. So I always like when I actually can see how my food is being prepared. And then for our main entrees, we did a ribeye filet with a really delicious sweet potato puree and grilled shrimp and a risotto entree. I just wanted a couple pieces of grilled shrimp 
and I got a full entree, but everything was super, super delicious. The strawberry cheesecake, chocolate cake, this is the magnificent, and this is a new on the menu, corn cake. Okay. We have some uh, canel with a coffee ice cream. Thank you so much. Get all this fruit and enjoy, and I'll be back with your drink. Thank you. An Irish coffee, like Carajillo. How is it? Better than the best cheesecake ever? No. <laughs> Not better than the best cheesecake ever, but better than the one at Acadia Zool. <laughs> so I think we left you where we said we were going to the cantina for a pre-dinner drink. We went there and it was closed for the tequila tasting. They do that, um, and it's usually, I think, like 5 to 7, but they were going to be running a little late. He said like 7.20, and we had 7.30 dinner reservations, so we obviously couldn't wait like 20 minutes. So we ended up going up to the Sky Bar, had a drink, that was good. Went over to the Steakhouse, that was really good. Now previously in 2021, we both kind of had a steak issue. Um, neither one was like cooked right, it was like a little tough if I remember correctly. Everything was great here. It was really, really good. We had so much food though because I just asked for a couple of grilled shrimp, like to do like a surf and turf and they brought me a whole shrimp meal. Unfortunately, there was no of the blue Blue cheese crumbles that I remember so vividly um, but they had a blue cheese butter that was great and then the three cheese soup I'm almost positive has blue cheese in it and I think that the, the cheese soup is like a must get that's really really good but I thought everything was just like real tasty and then we were gonna pass on desserts because we were just so full and then the chef came out and then talked us into getting a whole platter of one of everything <laughs> so but the corn cake dessert was really good and you liked that and the crepe yeah the crepes are real good and the coffee ice cream that comes with the chocolate I didn't love the chocolate dessert but other people might like it it was just a little un I don't know for me it was unflavorful but I had the filet mignon for my my entree um, the uh, empanadas were delicious remember those from two years ago we had three of those uh, the French onion soup was very tasty and uh, and the service was so yeah, good service. like just it has been just an incredible just experience overall like the restaurants are all good the service has been great like everything has just been really good so we're gonna go I think there's a Latin show tonight so we're gonna go to that so we'll show you that however we're going to say goodbye to you for now and we're gonna do a review video after this so come back to see our thoughts and how we rate the property and we will see you really soon in another video if you're new here we'd love if you'd give the video a thumbs up and subscribe we have tons of travel coming up the um, for the rest of this year and next so we'd love to have you back to uh, see our travels so thank you so much for watching I hope this video and this whole series was helpful if it was go ahead and let us know in the comments where you want to see us go next time final meal here I guess we just wanted to get everything from room service we did an omelet chocolate chip pancakes just some bacon and hash browns waffles fresh fruit and eggs Benedict and we have like three more hours here we're just getting all packed up 
and it is um, like 6.55 a.m. I ordered the food at 6.25 and it was just delivered, so that's um, pretty good, you know, pretty good time and everything feels hot, everything is correct. Um, so we're gonna enjoy this before we head out. So this is the pile of things that I'm not going to take home, so a bunch of shirts and dresses and things, a beach bag, um, and then so I'm just gonna leave a note saying to please keep or throw away, and then I listed everything that was there, so if the um, maid wants it, she is able to leave security with it. <laughs> 